Hello and welcome to a step-by-step uh, -step, uh, tutorial on how to set up the magic mirror on your Raspberry Pi. In the description to this uh, YouTube video, you will see all the steps necessary to go through step-by-step -step, and all the text and web pages and addresses and everything to add to your command lines, etc. We will start by downloading Raspbian Stretch with desktop from raspberrypi.org. When the download is complete, we then need to flash the SD card with the Raspbian Pi. And to do that, we need an app called Etcher. So we will go to the Etcher download page and download it for Windows. After the installation is complete, we start the app, select the image, and now make sure that the SD card is mounted in an SD card reader, and select the USB, and then press flash. We now need to open the SD card and uh, go to the boot section add a file called wpa underscore supplicant dot config we now also need to edit this one with the text editor and add the following lines and then change the ssid to your network name and also the PSK for your password for the network. We also need to create another file called SSH. This will activate the functionality to connect to your Raspberry Pi through a network. Now we need to install a program called Putty Tool to access the Raspberry Pi through the network network. Start Putty2 and type in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and press open. Press yes on the security dialog window, then type in pi as username and raspberry as password. As a first thing, I recommend that you change your password and to do that, type in PASWD and press enter and then type in the password and then your new password. And now we need to expand the file system and to do that, we need to go into the sudo raspbian config navigate to advanced options press expand file system press ok and then finish and reboot to get access to the raspbian pi desktop we need to install a program called real vnc server on the raspbian pi Press yes when asked. Now we need to go back into the Raspberry config and then to interface options and enable the VNC server. Now it is time to install a VNC viewer on your computer to get access to the Raspbian Pi desktop. Once installed, open the VNC viewer, type in the IP address of your Raspbian Pi, then type in the same username and password as you did on the Putty2 to, to connect to the desktop. 
Now go through the steps displayed on the desktop to complete the installation of your Raspberry Pi. Now it is time to install the magic mirror on your Raspberry Pi. So therefore we go back into Putty Tool, sign in, and type in the following commands. This installation might take up to 20 minutes, depending on your version of Raspberry Pi. And I have fast forwarded this on the video. When asked to uh, disable the screen saver, press yes. And now you should see on the VNC viewer that the Respian Pi is booting up the magic mirror. Congratulations, you have just installed the magic mirror on your Raspberry Pi. And now it's time to do some settings. And we'll start by rotating the screen. And to do this, we need to add some lines to the boot config.txt file. Press Ctrl X and then Y to accept and enter. Type in sudo reboot to restart your Raspberry Pi. And you should see that the screen has been rotated 90 degrees. Now we need to navigate to the magic mirror config folder and therefrom we open the config.js file to do some editing on all the modules installed already on the magic mirror. And we will start by editing the weather forecast app and to get to the weather forecast use your arrow keys to step down in the config file till you find the weather forecast section. Start by changing the name of the location. Then we need to find out the location ID and to do that we need to open the web browser and go to open weather map. Search for your location. Open the location and then in the internet search bar you will find the ID number. Copy it and paste it into the Raspberry Pi. Then we need to create an app ID and to do that we go back into the open weather and go create an account, sign into it and go to the API section. Type in a name and press generate. Copy the API key and paste it into the Raspberry Pi app ID. Now set the same settings for both current weather and weather forecast. Press 
press Ctrl X and then Y to accept it and enter. Now the magic mirror will restart and load a new configuration file. And you will see the new weather location and the new current and forecast. The next thing will be to go back into the config file again and change the uh, news feed of your magic mirror. Start by changing the name of your news feed. Go into your web browser again and then search for your newspapers page and also type in RSS to actually find the feed of the newspaper and find the link that suits your need. Copy it and add it to your magic mirror. Press Ctrl X then Y to accept and save it. And you will see that the Magic Mirror reboots and adds the new news feed and the at the bottom. Now I will show you how to set up a uh, new module, how to download it and install it. So we will install Spotify. First, we need to navigate to the Magic Mirror Modules folder. Then we will add the uh, git clone address to the Spotify module. After that, we need to navigate to the Spotify module. And now we install the module. To set up the Spotify module, we first need to go into developers.spotify.com and navigate to Dashboard and sign in with your Spotify account. In here, we create a client ID and fill in the necessary information. Now you will be redirected to your app and start by go to edit settings and change the redirect to localhost callback. Now we need to make sure that we are in the right directory. Then type in copy of Spotify config.json and then go edit it by typing in nano spotify config.json. In here, we only need to change the client ID and the client secret, and those are found on your Spotify app web page. Client secret is obtained by pressing show client secret. And then again, control X and yes to save. And now we need to authenticate the app. Copy the authorization address and paste it in your web browser. Don't press accept yet. We need to activate the authenticate again inside Raspberry Pi before pressing out accept. Now our Raspberry Pi has been allowed to use our Spotify account. Now we need to go to the Magic Mirror config file to add the module to the config.
Once you save the config file, the Magic Mirror will again reboot and show you what's currently playing on Spotify. If you want to add more modules to your Magic Mirror, you can go to a third party website and search for a module. For example, Daily Pokemon or a Twitch stream. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And if you have any questions, just put a comment below. And remember to subscribe for seeing the full build of the Magic Mirror in the future.